Welcome back to a new Charlie action video. I'm Nicholas, and the reason why you maybe clicked this video is because you want to know how I built my EDF fun chat with Thrust Vector Ring. That's how I built it. We will first start in Fusion 360 where I designed the Thrust Vector Ring mechanism. Then we'll go over in installing it in the fun chat, building the fun chat, and in the end, painting and flying the fun chat. Stay tuned. That's the result of about 5 hours of drawing and editing in Fusion 360. Here is the thrust vectoring unit with the nozzle and the EDF. It is designed in a way that the servers can be mounted directly onto the 3D printed unit. Basically I just have to mount this complete part on the aircraft, install all the other components and it's finished. Of course this is only the first version and I already know some things to make better in future. I have already measured the distances between all those uh, parts. So I can now cut into the fuselage and uh, yeah, mount the thrust vectoring mechanism on the fuselage. I cut a huge hole into the fuselage just to make space for the thrust vectoring mechanism. You also see that I heavily reinforced the aircraft with carbon fiber here on the top and the belly of the aircraft. This is to make sure that nothing breaks when the EDF and the thrust vectoring mechanism are mounted on the aircraft. I just glued the thrust vectoring mechanism with 5 minute uh, 2 component epoxy to the fuselage. Now I have to wait an hour until the glue is dry and yeah, I can put these things off and have a look if everything worked out well. The tail of the fan jet is now almost finished. so. This is extremely strength, the thrust vectoring works perfectly and I've already installed the EDF but I will later remove it for painting of course. The ESC will be located right here and all the other electronics right in front of it. The battery is in this position so the CG will be good and yeah. The general build of the fun jet is now almost finished. The wings are mounted, also the canopy is mounted. There's one thing that I did completely different than most other fun jet conversions. Because I can open this as usual with these clips. And I can also open the back of the aircraft by doing this and flipping it. So there are four magnets, two in this direction and two in this direction that secure the back of the fuselage and this is very strength, it definitely won't fall off and the front canopy can also be mounted that way so I have plenty of room to put in the electronics. Additionally here's the uh, yeah. EDF base with the thrust vector mechanism. This has also worked out very good. If you flip the whole aircraft over, we see here the wing spar and place for the servos, the ailerons, and yeah. So the next part will, of course, be painting the aircraft. I'm right now not sure how to paint it, but I've got some very nice ideas. The fun jet is finally completely painted. I painted the fuselage in grey and left the wings white. There is no sharp edge between these colors. The thrust vectoring mechanism is painted in black and I left this white to really be able to rotate freely. On the belly of the aircraft it looks pretty much the same and now I will apply some of the original stickers and install the servos and electronics. My friends, that is it. Now it's midnight and I've been working for hours just to finish this project this night. The fun jet is now completely finished. The EDF and the thrust vectoring mechanism are mounted. It works perfectly fine. And also the interior is finished. So if we pull off this hatch, we have now a view onto the receiver, the gyro and the ESC and if you open the front hatch 
we have now space for the battery I just glued this uh, mounting for the battery now I can put this huge 4000 milliamps battery in this tiny fan jet to achieve a lot of power and a lot of flight time with my 80 millimeter EDF Welcome back to Charlie Action, I'm Nicholas and today we will do the maiden flight with my EDF powered thrust vectored fan jet. We will wait until the runway is clear and then take off. Stay tuned. Fortunately it wasn't really possible to film the whole maiden flight because it was just too fast. I think it flies something about 200 km an hour and just imagine filming a 80cm RC jet flying 200 km an hour. It's almost impossible to film but today I'm flying a little bit 3D so I've done already some flights and have a little experience and I hope I'll be able to upload a video when trying to do some of my 3D maneuvers. Thanks for watching this video and I hope we'll see each other in the next one.